All right, folks, welcome to this exciting adventure on the beautiful Isle of Isla in Scotland. Today's adventure, we've left Fairy Hill Cottage where we're staying and we're headed up the little road. And this is as far as the main road goes up here. If you just keep on going, it's kind of up the southeastern side of the island. But we've come up here and the views are just absolutely stunning. I can see a few ships kicking about out in the water. And I can actually see one of the ferries going along here as well. There you go. Some happy Scottish cows. They can actually walk quite far. So this gate's open. Look at the wee cafes eh? Look at this, folks. We're walking through this picturesque little, looks like an old stables. And we're just literally, this is as far as the road goes on Isla. We're just on foot now, going up the mud track. Oh, look, it's one of these typical Scottish gates. Single hinge, cowpie. It's a cowpie gate. Yes. There's some old farm equipment sitting in there for all those farming fans. Oh, it looks like actually it's a, br a yard brush with a little sprinkler on it to save the stir fleeing. I think it's a weed wiper. That's what we call them. Oh, AKR's just updated us with his agricultural knowledge here. A weed wiper? Yeah, the spray comes along the roller, oh. but, it, but it doesn't spray it. It just wipes it onto the weeds because they pile up. Ah, a weed wiper. Let's have a look over and see what he means. It is. Maybe the sort of thing you would hear way up here. But it's harder to get like big tractors and stuff and whatever else over these braids. Looks like this house is built right on the bedrock of the hill here. At the edge of this massive coastal seascape. And the cool thing, you can actually see the mainland through the haze there. These plants have been the most common thing we've seen on this island. Foxgloves, folks. I think I called them lupins in one previous video, but foxgloves is the name. And the, the bees just absolutely love them. They go up inside them there, get their pollen. And there's tons of bracken and ferns as well all over this island. It's quite cool. I like seeing the foxgloves. Most of them out here in the wild seem to be that purple colour. But I think nowadays you can get any colour for like garden centre and stuff. Look at this folks. Anyway, we'll update you when we see the next item of interest around here. I've had wet feet already on this holiday. I don't think I'm wanting wet feet today. Oh, oh. Go like hell and folks, I've just braved this wild Hebridean hilltop here and I've just made my way through a crazy ditch to document this old historical wall here. This must have been an area where at one time a shepherd had sorted out his sheep and stuff like that. Wow, this wall's probably been here for like the 16 or the 1700s. And like, let's document it, folks. Oh, aye. Wow. This is so cool, folks. Look at this. There's like a circle of fence and a boiler thing. Look at this, folks. Ancient bit of history. Undocumented ever, exclusive here on the channel. Way up on this abandoned hilltop here. Look, this must have been an area where they had a settlement. Maybe boiling wool in this boiler with a chimney going. They would have loaded it up down there. Look at that. That's where they would have put the coal and stuff in the bottom. And look, boil it up for making their tweed and stuff like that. 
And then look at this thing here. It's got like this whole bit in it. I'm not sure, it's hard to see at this time of year because it's so overgrown. Look at all these different like wall bits. Circles of wall. And yeah, that boiler thing, that made it worth climbing over that bog. You can just imagine them working away here and the rake coming out of that chimney. And it looks like potentially over at this other side here. It looks like they've maybe had like, let me see, maybe a little hoose kind of bit. Or maybe they used to make tweed or something and hang it out to dry. That looks like the proper way in. There's just so many walls and entrances and doorways. It's so interesting here. Look, there's been gates on all of it and it'll, it'll have been probably when they're sorting the sheep out and then like clipping their wool, like trimming them. Look at the size of some of these hinge bitties into the wall. Wow. Look at that, all these little sheds and probably they had a wee hut or something that they stayed in when they were working at this site. Oh, aye, we'll make our way around here a bit and take a look in here. Look, there's massive gates here. Well, gate posts. This must have been like the main entrance or one of them. Whoa, this is so cool here. Check it out, folks. This has been like maybe the main field or the main entrance onto the site. It looks like it's had potentially like a double gate with the old hinges. What a cool place, folks. I'm glad that I climbed up to here. Look at that. There's always so much history to find. Right, folks, on these paths, there's these fords, and man, it's not get wet feet yet. I'm gonna keep trying. <gasps> I've made it across. Hallelujah, folks. Now the rest we'll have to make it. I actually, my foot did go in the water, but the water didn't go in. So I'm lucky. And then one more. Yeah, but that was it. We've been quite far up that path. This is like as far as the road goes, and it's quite difficult to cross all these little fords and stuff. If you enjoy like long walks, you can walk all the way out to McEachran's Head Lighthouse, I think it's called, on the far corner of the island, but I think it's like 10 miles or something, so we're no cut out for that today on this adventure, folks. We're here for the views and the beautiful scenery. And it was cool to see that little sheep sorting station up there with the Al Byler and stuff, still in situ there on the hill from all those years gone by, maybe early to mid 1700s or something, I was guessing. But yeah, nowadays the wildlife and nature is just taking over it, just like everything. All the landscape and history up here is incredible. You can just imagine these old farms when like, they were even more remote than what they are nowadays. Like, Probably a tourist would never have been seen up these paths at one time before roads and stuff were on the island. A lot of places would have been accessed from the sea on these Hebridean islands. Probably the, like those little farms and stuff would have been there from that time. Maybe the original farmhouse related to that sheep sorting area that we saw on top of the hill. The original farmhouse might have been down here at the lower land and maybe there had just been a little track leading in this way. Probably at one time all the roads on the island looked like this. It would have just been a bit of a mud track that the horse and carriages just followed along. The old stagecoaches maybe bringing people from the, the ferries and the boats. That one's camera shy. These ones are curious. Hey yeah. It's probably not a good idea to stop because if one comes over they'll all they'll all come over at high speed.
right folks, that's us followed the road as far as it goes up this side of Isla. It's been a cool wee adventure. Getting to see and meet the local cow community here. We seem to be doing pretty well. And yeah, I'll end this one here folks. Tune in again very soon when we go on our next adventure. Thanks very much for watching. See you soon. Thank you.